Hello everyone, I have an update concerning the New York City Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Now, if you are a retired correction officer, you can carry your firearm in restricted locations, including private property, if you have your HR 218 qualification. I did a video about this in October, so if you wanna watch that one to be more clear on what I'm talking about, there's a link in the description below. In the original version of the law, it said, a person is guilty of criminal possession of a weapon in a restricted location when such person possesses a firearm, rifle, or shotgun and enters into or remains on or in private property where such person knows or reasonably should know that the owner or leasee of such property has not permitted such possession by clear and conspicuous signage indicating that the carrying of firearms, rifles, or shotguns on their property is permitted or has otherwise given express consent, which I interpreted as saying that you could not bring your firearm in places like a store, a restaurant, a barbershop, beauty parlor, or even an Uber car if there was not a sign saying that they allow firearms or the owner or leaseholder does not tell you verbally that they allow you to bring your firearm in there. Now that's the part that has changed. Before this section applied to retired correction officers, the new amendment says that it does not apply to retired correction officers if you are authorized to carry concealed firearms pursuant to 18 U.S.C. 926C, which is commonly referred to as H.R. 218. So if you are a retired correction officer, it is more important than ever for you to have your H.R. 218 qualification. And just in general, it's a good idea to have it because it allows you to travel to any state in the country with your firearm. You can even take your firearm on a plane if you have this qualification. And it's a good idea because you have to qualify every year. You have to pass a firearms exam just like you did when you were an active officer. So it requires you to maintain your skills. And at the qualification course, you can get all the updates concerning firearm laws and how they apply to you. So I strongly recommend that you get your HR 218 qualification every year. Now I must say, I'm not an attorney, this is not legal advice, and if you want clarity on this issue, please contact an attorney. But for now, these are the updates, so if this information has helped you, please hit the like button and subscribe, and until next time, peace and stay safe.